our study looked into the untreatment epilepsy in Australia. So it's mainly uh, Western Australia from three, uh, actually two first seizure clinics. So those patients are newly uh, had a their first seizure event and have been uh, referred to epileptologists in Western Australia. So what we have found is about a third of the patient who have been diagnosed with epilepsy did not start treatment either by their neurologist or the patient declined the treatment offered by the neurologist. So this is a quite interesting finding because this kind of untreatment epilepsy has long been thought as a major health uh, issue in low-income countries because patients uh, have trouble to access drugs or specialized care. And uh, to what extent this issue exists in high-income countries such as US Australia has not well been studied. And this is very important for us to understand these treatment decisions be, uh, for these patients and the reason for this kind of uh, untreated epilepsy to optimize all the uh, epilepsy cares. So from our study, epilepsy treatment decisions is very complex and the neurologists need to consider various factors including a patient's lifestyle, or the MRI, EEG, and all various factors. And uh, it is important that uh, patient, if patient have any doubts whether they should start treatment, they should discuss extensively with their neurologist. So the communication is the key, and uh, neurologists need to emphasize the importance of uh, commence treatment to control this occurrence of further seizures. Currently, we have uh, identified three major groups in our cohort. So that's patients who immediately start treatment, and those who delayed had a delayed treatment, and those who never start treatment at the end of the follow-up. So what we decided to do a follow-up study that look into the seizure outcomes in these three may, uh, three groups to see if there's any difference in the long-term seizure outcome in these three groups.